welcome to each of you. Okay. Now you can start, please. Okay, let me just begin again. Thank you, Prasad ji. It's a, it's a warm pleasure. Sir, you are on mute. So it's a deep pleasure for IPA to have to have been hosting you on its platform. Thank you so much for making yourself available. I formally now begin the minting. Good uh, afternoon. Prasad ji, apne aapko please unmute kar lijiye. Yeah, yeah, he was saying something, so it was he was mute. That is why we could not uh, listen to his words. Good afternoon to all the distinguished participants, esteemed colleagues, and honored guests. On behalf of the All India Insolvency Professionals Association, it is both a privilege and a pleasure to extend a warm welcome to each one of you as we gather for this landmark occasion, the 50th episode in our series of the insightful webinars. And hence, we call it a landmark occasion. We are also in front of all of you extending a big gratitude to the executive committee members and of course the president's office for having put in so much efforts to bring to a position where we are celebrating with all of you the 50th episode of IPA. We extend our warmest and most sincere welcome to our esteemed chief guest, Sri PSN Prasad. I'm sure you're, uh, sir, who doesn't know you? He, uh, his good self has been the judicial member of the Chandigarh bench of NCIT and now, and now he's here. Your invaluable guidance, first at the Chandigarh bench and now here, has been a beacon of insight and inspiration for all of us. Throughout the years, we have steadfastly organized these sessions independently as well as in collaboration with prominent organizations with a shared commitment to fostering continuous professional development. Our association remains dedicated to empowering the insolvency professionals and also the entire ecosystem of the insolvency practice with latest knowledge, practical skills and nuanced insights which is needed to navigate the complexities of our profession. Who doesn't know the complex environment and uh, the complex system that we work in? But nonetheless, I think everybody doesn't become an insolvency professional because it actually needs quite a lot of thick skin to really work on it. So these webinars is serving as an invaluable forum for high level discourse and expert analysis, helping us tackle emerging trends and navigate the challenges efficiently and effectively because it's very important to say that unless we are armed with the latest judgments and what's happening in the space believe you me i think that works as a sword for all of us so when a fighter goes into the field and without a sharp sword i'm sure the fighter will not be able to perform at all in fact it may be fatal for him similarly if we are not well armed with what's happening in the legal system and the ecosystem of the ibc we will not be able to perform at all and we may perish Leave alone perish, we may actually earn a lot of defamation for all of us. So it's very, very important. And none other than Mr. PSN Prasad, who will be throwing light on his expertise, experience that he has gained in being the NCLT member. It's not easy to be an NCLT member because everything, every can of worms actually opens in front of, front of him with an expectation that he will sort out the issue, he will sort out the mess that we all have created, put together in terms of legal, uh, sometimes inexpertise, and it also sometimes really not having the clarity of law. So uh, straight away, I uh, thank you once again. It's a great pleasure that all of you in this afternoon working day is with us. It is an unwavering support and active engagement that we get from you has led us where we are. It's very heartening to also have our co-speaker, who is also a very esteemed member of the executive committee, Mr. Nile Sharma, and our president here, Mr. Manoj Anand, I, Mamta Binani, and uh, we have our chief guest, Mr. Prasad. So may we now request uh, straight away to just get into the stardom of the chief guest and request Mr. Prasad to share his wisdom. We, we look forward to have his address, uh, Mr. Prasad. Best afternoon, my dear friends. Let me take the liberty of calling you as my friends because I have come back to the profession. And in fact, the Insolvency Bankruptcy Board of India has proposed several amendments to streamline the process of real estate companies 
to me this is the need of the hour unless they come forward ibba comes forward and takes care of the interest of the stakeholders in the real estate projects i think the basic need of shelter cannot be met with and the proposed rather the issues are several amendments which they are thinking of is one is about separate bank accounts second one is separate resolution process and compulsory coc meetings and including the land authorities into the system this is a very very good step and registration and extension and uh, project specific carp process registration of sale deed excluding the allotees assets these are the certain amendments which they would like to bring within the framework of ibc in fact these amendments are expected to bring the simplification of process create a project specific resolution process allow financial bidders to take over take over seamlessly make ibc more home owner friendly then enhance the efficiency improve the resolution value and reduce the resolution time times resolution timelines have to be reduced and in fact the ips play a key and vital role in this entire process and these amendments are the real need of the hour after going through the draft amendments i am of the view that how do they include the land authorities within the coc without any voting right means what exactly is going to really take place that is a question practically how the land authorities can effectively contribute to the carp process they may be when they are may, they are allowed to take part in the cvc they may be knowing what is happening but does it influence their decision making does it give them a kind of confidence that they are really going to contribute substantially for the success of the project and how do we make them to act see these land authorities mostly are the government authorities and how do these government authorities do take their responsibility in the process that need to be thought of in that amendment should be in such a way that if they don't really take an act to part how nclt can regulate them in a way as far as the project specific is concerned that is one issue which i feel and which i am not able to really uh, understand by involving them how do this scene will become something slightly different the ultimate object is to see that a real estate project will go very smoothly at the process of carp and if the pro at the process of carp is only thought of and land authorities doesn't intervene up to the carp process and if they suddenly interfere at the carp process what exactly they can contribute that is a slight doubt which i am still not at re really uh, not able to get a grip over the issue the participation of land authorities in the cocs that we all have to think of this how the land authorities can be made to play a better role simply because 
they were made as a member of coc and without voting right would they really able to contribute or how do we make them to actually help for the success of the project in fact realist and secondly allowing allowing the uh beneficiaries who are the real estate project ask them to compete for filing the resolution plan that also we should be very very careful because if all the uh beneficiary comes as a group then it's okay all the home buyers comes as a group it is okay then that project will be 100% successful but some of them doesn't come and some of them come some of them file a resolution plan and others will oppose then it becomes a issue so that is a area where really ibba has to work out or when it comes for when it comes before the adjudicating authority the adjudicating authority has to very diligently give a approach for that kind of issues because it is a suppose very big project and um, there are five to six associations have been formed out of the home buyers and uh, two to three associations have combined together and filed a resolution plan and others oppose it then what happens to the fate of it and how do we address that problem of course all these develop all these amendments are in fact the need of the our these amendments are required if really to safeguard the interest of the real estate stakeholders in the process of carp and ibc the proposed amendments are welcome but what kind of result it is going to give that we have to wait and see and final shape of amendment only has to be understood in the light of our previous experiences our experiences teaches us that real estate projects requires a lot of unity among the unit buyers if unit buyers are very cooperative that project can be very successful otherwise whatever amendments we bring into the system that is going to face little hardship and coc regular meeting is a must but even in coc when the financial creditor sending a person who is not capable of taking a decision that itself itself is is not a very healthy symptom the financial creditor banks or financial institutions whosoever is the financial creditor he should be able to take an active decision on the day when a issue has been deliberated in coc it is not that he sh- he will say that i will go back and come with a decision and get the, the same item gets adjourned to the next meeting these kind of finalities at the level of the financial creditor have also need to be neutralized if these are these uh, fine tunings of all these amendments slightly wherever there is a possibility of irritation if that is taken care of these amendments uh, are very much required and these amendments are in the best interest of the real estate matters let me hear to my other two friends and if something if i i will be i also want to hear them eagerly uh, then if something Madam need Madam. to be put additionally i will definitely put and i will ask now mr anand or sharma ji to take over thank you very much yeah thank you very much sir thanks a lot you know aapne to apne initial deliberation ke andar hi you know you reduced our burden a lot because you started enlightening us and basically this this was the our objective uh, mamta ji please take over please take over yes 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 thank you so much mr prasad that was very very enlightening and coming from the mouth which we colloquially say horse's mouth 
इज एक्चुअली वेरी क्रिटिकल फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस बिकॉज कमिंग फ्रॉम कहते हैं ना जो पानी स्प्रिंग से आता है दैट वॉटर इज वेरी हेल्थी बिकॉज इट इज कमिंग अन टच इट इज कमिंग अन अडल्टरेटेड सिमिलर मैनर आईपा इज वेरी वेरी इलेटेड टू हैव योर प्रेजेंस एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट यू हैव टू से I'm sure these understandings, bit by bit, actually becomes a cornerstone on which insolvency professional starts performing and acting. So, thank you for your valuable time, Prasadji. I request you to be please be there with us, and you'll really find uh, the sessions that happens in IPA to be very enlightening. So, if your time permits, kindly be with us. Uh, now looking forward uh, to an enlightening session which is an update session that promises both knowledge and practical takeaways uh, today manoj ji has i think made a preparation for 16 updates if not more and uh, i'm sure he'll be touching each one of it very briefly so that we can devote more time also on the session that has been earmarked for nilesh ji so now let's move forward with that latest updates So we thank have you very much. Them. Yes, thank you, Manoj. You can take it forward. Yeah, already twenty-four minutes are passed, and we have a total session of one hour only. Uh, 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 you know, I I be I be a little bit quick on my uh, updates because uh, um, my these updates has been regularly demanded by my uh, uh, my insolvency professional brothers. Okay, uh, I I be dividing my all updates in four parts. firstly i be touching uh, you know i i just confess it initially that i be touching all these things very briefly because of lack of time now but uh, inka jo link hai main chat box mein dal dunga to uske andar maine sare ke sare us link ke andar soft uh, link bhi diye hue hain so if you want to study all these things in detail so through that soft uh, particular uh, link hai, you can uh, delve into it and know about uh, uh, in detail about all those uh, things are there basically objective of our uh, this uh, regular update is that ki whatever happened in our last uh, webinar aur uske baad bahut sari cheeze hoti hain jo many a times we are not able to keep track because uh, now there is lot of uh, words of messages are pouring and in that we also be something but we uh, capsulate in uh, one form uh, in in a bundle form and uh, try to enlighten our ip brothers uh, in 5 10 minutes so that they, they can they should not be something important but at the same time they understood understand uh, important aspects also okay uh, i have divided my updates in four parts uh, first is i will touching very briefly honorable supreme court two judgments uh, which has a big take away for us second i will touching uh, on honorable delhi high court judgments and uh, three classical uh, decisions taken by nclt sorry secondly thirdly i be telling you what are the important dates uh, which are ending uh, before uh, 30th of november for which we need to take care uh, as insolvency pra uh, uh, practitioner and lastly i i be telling you that uh, a, a whole uh, international arena is also prone to insolvency what is latest in the international arena also as far as insolvency is concerned okay my first point my first point is i you know uh, as we are all aware of it that uh, uh, honorable supreme court has uh, uh, recently delivered a uh, jet airways judgment hardly a week ago uh, honorable supreme court you know it 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 has been discussed a lot in the whatsapp groups and the best quote which i could locate uh, you know the on the analysis of this judgment i could find is that the, which says that patient died but surgery successful in any case the brief facts are rupees 200 crore paid by a successful resident applicant jkc to be forfeited because they did not uh, uh, pay the balance amount or they did not uh, uh, pay what they promised in their plan uh, for 500 crore rupees supreme court also directed to uncash its 150 crore performance guarantee supreme court came out very heavily on the functioning of the uh, honorable nclt nclt also Uh, what they said uh, in that particular uh, on the functioning of uh, nclt and nclt that that uh, they ignore or defy supreme court orders as it allowed rupees 500 150 crore uh, uh, guarantee uh, to be cashed uh, sorry uh, the, uh, the, uh, they ordered for an, uh, the taking of 150 crore rupees but they allowed it to be cashed case guarantee 
you know, these are some quotes also that they said, uh, you know, as we, we be all aware or, or I just submitted to you that in the coming fortnight or maybe in the next week, a lot of appointments are going to be happened. New appointments are going to be happened in the tribunal. Uh, last year also uh, some uh, appointments were happened, but it uh, was made with a lot of criticism. Uh, I won't delve into it. Hopefully, uh, now this new appointments will be without any political interference as uh, desired by Honorable Supreme Court in this particular judgment. They have also heavily criticized in handling insolvency and bankruptcy matters by the uh, benches. The court urged the government to address these issues by appointing qualified members, providing necessary infrastructure and ensuring timely resolution of cases. Here, not only in this particular uh, uh, the, the judgment, jet airway judgment, not only uh, benches has been criticized, but uh, uh, functioning of the RP has also been criticized, not by the Honorable Supreme Court, but by the Honorable uh, Karnataka High Court. And in fact, they have given the direction to the NCLT to change the uh, Baiju's RP within two weeks. They uh, delivered that judgment on 25th of October. I think by now it might have been changed. A uh, second important judgment uh, or delivered by Honorable uh, Supreme Court was of Baiju's. But we, we, we have, we were, it was such an uh, important judgment that uh, uh, we discussed this particular judgment in our last uh, webinar as on 26, uh, 26th of October 2024. It basically pertains to uh, various aspects of withdrawal under Section 12A and uh, uh, again uh, comment on the working of the NCLT and NCLT. And all this in there. So, this YouTube link I will share in the chat box. You can look into it if you want to study in detail because we delve on this particular judgment approximately for one hour. Uh, okay, now my uh, I come out to be with my second uh, update. Uh, uh, in this particular update, it has been held by uh, NCLT. Uh, you know, there was a conflicting situation between TRI and IBC. Try was saying that they are a specialist act and they have the overriding power. The basic, uh, 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 you know, the concept of the in this particular case was that uh, the, the, this source is a legal document detailing a case between Telecom Regulatory Authority and Reliance Telecom. Uh, let me tell you the, uh, the little bit facts about it. The trial, a, a regulator imposed financial penalties on Reliance Telecom for non-compliance of with quality of services regulation, etc. During Reliance Telecom's insolvency proceeding, the trial sought to have the penalties and customer balances classified as a priority debt. I just remind you, in case of PF and ESI deals, we have this overriding clause under Section 36. The NCLT ultimately ruled that the penalties and customer balances are considered OC only, which means they will be treated like other debts during the insolvency process. The NCLT reasoned that the TRI Act, despite being a special law, is overridden by the prison of the IBC, which is, although a general law, but uh, uh, considering the totality of circumstances, IBC has uh, been treated in supremacy of TRI. Uh, another judgment is on the 4th of October 2023, uh, 24, where uh, in the case of uh, uh, Janus GBSA Limited versus Brally Bear uh, Biotech Limited. In this case, NCLT raising interest in insolvency petition without prior into, uh, information to the CD is untenable. NCLT held that interest can't be raised unilaterally in the insolvency petition without prior intimation to the debtors. Accordingly, petition dismissed as eligible amount not sufficient enough to maintain petition under Section 4 of the IBC. Basically, under Section 4, we have a one crore limit. And many a times when this one crore limit, threshold limit is not being met, uh, uh, Section 9 applicant mainly uh, add interest element into it you know, uh, by stating either MSME classes or uh, stating PO or maybe uh, shown in the, the, the this thing there in the NYS and something like that. So and as, uh, it has been clarified that it for threshold limit, this interest can't be taken into consider. Uh, my fifth update is uh, with reference to NCLAT judgment, which Mamta ji has also briefly talked NCLT took back period extension beyond two years for related party transactions under Section 43 of IBC not alone. Uh, Mamta ji has already a little bit delved into it. But the case is of Siddharth 
भारत भूषण जैन वर्सेस स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया एनसीएलटी दिल्ली जजमेंट डेटेड फोर्टीन ऑफ अक्टूबर सेट साइसको इंडस्ट्रीज लिमिटेड द कॉपोरेट डेटर वेंट टू वेंट इन टू सीआरपी ऑन एट ऑफ सितंबर 2021 एंड दस टुक बैक पीरियड अंडर सेक्शन 43 ऑफ द कोड कमर्स्ड विद इफेक्ट फ्रॉम एट सितंबर 2019 ओनली द ट्रिब्यूनल हेल्ड दैट एक्सटेंशन ऑफ लुक बैक पीरियड बियॉन्ड टू इयर्स फॉर रिलेटेड पार्टी ट्रांसक्शन अंडर सेक्शन फोर्टी इज नॉट अलाउबल Uh, I think it need to be revisited uh, in the light of uh, the way uh, the things are happening there, and because uh, it takes uh, many a time, a year or more than a year in the admission of application, and if this two year uh, period is so strictly in, uh, interpreted from the date of admission, I think a uh, uh, lot of uh, uh, transactions may go unnoted. My sixth update is of NCLT uh, uh, judgment uh, in the case of Kailash Motilal Kukrania versus so and so, whereas NCLT uh, held adjustment against financial dot not permissible for ca uh, calculating threshold prescribed under section four of the IBC. Uh, what happened in this case that uh, 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 the, what happened, the petitioner was having a balance of more than one crore rupees. But at the same time, in the balance sheet, he was showing off repayment uh, uh, to that particular CD also. If we club those uh, uh, entries, then it will threshold limit will come out to be less than one crore rupees. NCLT held that जो उसने लेना है वही amount देखा जाएगा. उसके against अगर कोई balance sheet में भी adjustment है, that need to be ignored. My seventh update is of uh, uh, in the case of uh, Honorable Delhi High Court case. Uh, ये मैंने specifically uh, I have chosen it for the reason I let you know. Delhi High Court in the case of Union of India versus OCL Oil and Steel Limited held. You know what happened in this case? Again, the supremacy of IBC has been uh, uh, held by the Honorable Delhi High Court. In this case, Government of India debarred the SRA for participating in a coal auction uh, till the repay, uh, repayment of rupees ninety two point two five crore, which was due on the corporate debtor. It had acquired through CRP under IBC. Delhi High Court quashed this uh, eligibility, ineligibility, and directed Government of India to allow uh, SRA in uh, auction participation. This is a very good judgment as far as uh, IBC is concerned because supremacy of IBC and jo, uh, going concern or revival, uh, what are the objectives are there? These uh, <coughs> types of judgment definitely help in all this thing there. As usually in every quarter, oh sorry, in every uh, fifteen days or twenty days, either one or the other <laughs> IP is being suspended. In this case, also on twenty second of October, IBB, uh, you know, we 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 lighted each other only for the purpose so that the mistakes committed by uh, that particular IP should not be committed by we people also. And uh, let's have a clean slate in our career also. What happened in this case? IBB has suspended registration of uh, Mr. So and so. For negligence resulted in significant losses to the corporate data, the committee found that he has failed in his responsibilities as the IRP during his tenure, uh, during his tenure, resulting in financial burden on the CD, including GST and electricity charges, without any revenue generation to offset these costs. It concluded that the negligence resulted in significant losses to the CD, and therefore decided to suspend so and so for two years. <coughs> yani, what I mean to say is that. The moment we get an assignment, whether we have a money, whether we have an infrastructure, whether we have uh, sorry, whether we have any detail or not, but we must comply with GST, TDS, and electricity expenses, all this in there. Otherwise, IBBA will get hold our head and uh, you know go against us. Uh, now let me move to uh, my third update. Now you know the, these updates are uh, 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 not related to court cases, but these are vital updates. Uh, maybe as an IP, but otherwise also because we people are practicing either chartered accountant or company secretary or uh, uh, you know uh, 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 cost and management accountant. Maybe otherwise also. Uh, at very recently, uh, 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 you know, a company with a turnover of more than two fifty crore rupees and all CPCE shall be required to register themselves on board on the trade receivable discounting system platforms. You know, I, I just enlighten you uh, what this system is. This is a very good system. The companies who are big companies who can be termed as big companies because they are having a turnover of two hundred fifty crore plus rupees only there. When they get uh, uh, you know listed there, then any of the debtor who who uh, 
sorry, any of his creditor who can go to this platform, particular platform, get discounted his bills and get the payment. Uh, uh, the only thing is that he has to be an MSME. So, uh, uh, company ne paise pay kare nahi kare, lekin jo wo particular creditor hai of these type of companies, he is able to uh, get money and uh, company definitely, uh, uh, what uh, you know, the uh, discounting process, whatever is there, company reimburses back to them after some time. And after 43B H section of Income Tax Act, whereby now if you don't make payment to the MSME uh, within uh, 15 or 45 days, your, uh, pay, your, your, pay, your, your liability is being added back. Back, uh, in the financial year 23-24 plus this measure will definitely uh, help our MSME sector which is you know government is trying very heavily to uplift them. Okay my my third uh, update is that the it, it is again a decision by the NCLT sorry I missed it it should have been upward. What is happening that in the PG to CD cases what is happening, uh, you know, in many of the cases, you know, the, the, this uh, PG people are taking it lightly, uh, all the uh, cases uh, of uh, revocation of guarantee gives them. Uh, many a times they appear and many a times they don't appear. And when they don't appear in this particular case, the case name is uh, Sudip Datta, uh, uh, Sudip Bijoy Datta versus Prashant Jain RP. NCLT held that in, in this case what happened, he did not give any repayment plan. But when the order was passed by the uh, 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 NCLT, uh, he took note of the objection that uh, I have not been given any opportunity of being heard. So NCLT said when for years you did not give any repayment plan, what else you want? And uh, they dismissed their, uh, you know, the, this, uh, this uh, he took plea in front of the NCLT uh, uh, against NCLT order, but NCLT held against it and said that uh, uh, under section 115 subsection 2 because uh, if insolvency decision process is not successful then the order passed under section 115 uh, uh, you know the opens up a, a path for uh, uh, insolvency so uh, sorry bankruptcy so uh, they upheld that particular bankruptcy order and now uh, uh, that particular debtor has to go there my another, uh, you know, uh, the Orissa High Court also come out uh, very uh, effectively in Orissa uh, Magnes and Mineral Limited Judgment. Claims before approval of registration plan were extinguished on approval of plan under Section 31 of the IBC. The court held that the registration plan was approved on June 22, so and so, extinguishes all liability predating the date of approval of registration plan. Therefore, the claims of the state with respect to the period prior to the approval date could not be entertained. This is a common, you know, law in a uh, upheld law, even by the Supreme Court also. But I don't know why honorable uh, people bypassing this IBC platform, they go to the uh, high court. And now most of the high courts are also taking, um, the, the, the upholding the supremacy of the IBC. And slowly and steadily, it will die down. My only purpose of telling you was that, uh, 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 that the, although it is applicable to the Orissa state only, but most of the high courts are now uh, upholding the supremacy of IBC. And uh, whatever is stated there and of extinguishment of all the, uh, uh, the, uh, the liabilities, it is being held there now. Okay. My, uh, now, now, now I, I come up for the, some of the updates the, as an IP, which we are required to do the work in the coming fortnight. My first date update is that extension of timeline for filing forms to monitor liquidation process under the uh, IBC code and the regulation made therein. Its date was earlier attended, uh, uh, ended earlier, uh, 30th September. No, it has been extended up to uh, 30th of November 2024. If as a liquidator you have still not filed uh, any of uh, details of the uh, your past assignment, uh, date has been extended uh, 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 till 30th of November, you can file it there. Uh, I generally give uh, some, um, uh, you know, hint for the uh, professional work also. So one of the hint which I got is that key IBC is looking after for some research associates and consultants, although the last date of it was 30th of November, but still you can look at the IBC side and if you anyone or any of your staff is interested, you can look into it. My uh, another update is uh, uh, with reference to a notice which was issued by CBDT as on the 26th of October 2024, whereas uh, assessment year 2024-25, meaning thereby financial year 23-24, CBDT in exercise of parts and stuff has extended the, the last date of filing of return due to festivity, which was 31st October to now 
uh, 15th of uh, the November uh, therein. Our office is also working very hard parallelly. I hope uh, uh, you as an IP or maybe otherwise also uh, taken cognizance of this uh, uh, date also for which one day is still left there. Okay. Uh, another update is that uh, ABBI has come out with a circular as on 29th of October, whereby they have uh, the circular is with reference to centralized electronic listing and uh, auction credit form for sale of assets under liquidation process. In brief, uh, I mean to say is that key, well, uh, as a liquidator, if there is, uh, you know, what we prepared asset memorandum, and now this asset memorandum with all the records detail, uh, you know, that has to be uploaded at this particular platform. This is absolutely alive now. My office is yet to, uh, you know, fill details there, and but uh, it is important and mandatory now. We need to uh, fill our uh, our asset memorandum details therein, and whenever uh, action is uh, auction is going to be come out to be there. The it is uh, will be updated there but uh, initially we need to update it there it is parallel to what has been happening in the i think in the case of surfasi where uh, banks do sell their properties through so this e bikraker platform and like that okay my uh, another uh, you know uh, the update is that as at 4th of november 2024 hardly 10 days ago a discussion paper on mediation by the OC uh, before approaching a judicating authority for filing section 9 application uh, has been issued. Uh, now, since it is a big opportunity for VRPs to uh, get work also, we have already decided that in the coming uh, week or maybe uh, in the coming fortnight, uh, uh, Mamta ji will be taking uh, a full session on it. But, uh, uh, the, the, you know, it was an important update. That is what I thought of sharing with you. My another uh, the, the 17th update is that IBBI in a partnership with InSoul India uh, is uh, holding second international conclave 2024 as on 7th of December in Delhi at Hotel Lee Meridian. Four CPRs credit will be there. Fees for it is 4,000 for InSoul India members and students and academicians. Others rupees for 5,000 till 25th of November. And after that, 7,000. Uh, I shall be sharing soft link uh, in chat box. Uh, if anybody wants to join this member, it gives a very good platform of interaction. Please, uh, uh, that is there. Now, my, uh, you know, the second last amendment, uh, second last update is that I, I, I'm moving to now international bankruptcy. We in India is not prone to insolvency, but internationally also uh, uh, insolvency things are happening. And the biggest international insolvency in the last uh, uh, fortnight happened as on 23rd of October 2024, whereas Sritex Textile Giant in Indonesia has been officially declared bankrupt by the Semarang City Commercial Court on 23rd of October 2024. Just see the size of the company. It employs more than 50,000 pe uh, people, has a debt of uh, 1.6 billion. 1.6 billion being 1.35 lakh crores. Uh, you know, struck deal with creditors in 2022 by an agreement, but court annulled that agreement and perhaps ordered for bankruptcy. Indonesian labor groups urges state bailout for the trouble textile giant Citex. Now, what is happening is that that uh, you know a situation similar to in India. Uh, they, uh, if you remember that uh, uh, during nationalization of textile industry, an NTC came into picture uh, 25, 30 years ago. Uh, similarly, now they are uh, uh, labor laws, uh, labor people uh, are uh, urging government ki instead of uh, uh, as a part of insolvency, let it be the, uh, this company be nationalized and do uh, there. This is a new trend in insolvency, which is internationally happened. That was the reason I thought of sharing it with you. Uh, soft link, I'll be giving it to you. You can, uh, you know, deal in detail with it. Now, my uh, last uh, update, uh, 19th update is that it is with reference to real estate. It will be uh, dealt in detail by uh, Mr. Nalaychi. And uh, uh, however, whatever input will be there, Sir Neto, Prasad Sir Neto already bought a chain put his country there. But Jamham is cooked a point was discussed Karenge, Jessica is kind of seven points. The eight may have Javi Sir Nebi, Prasad Sir Neka, land thought is include Karna or land allotment cancel of the Tia Uskokia Karna, COC co and power Karna, associations call Aukarna, 
क्लेरिफिकेशन में रेफरेंस टू इंटर्स जो आठ परसेंट की आज की डेट में हम इन सात इश्यूज को एक एक पॉइंट वाइज डील करेंगे और उसके बाद इसके अंदर हमारे को क्या कमेंट्स देने हैं अभी यू नो इट्स अ डिस्कशन पेपर फॉर कमेंट फॉर विच द लास्ट डेट इज ट्वेंटी सेवन ऑफ नवंबर थर्टीन डेज आफ्टर तो इसके बारे में हम लोगों को क्या कमेंट्स देने हैं टैट विल एब्सोलूटली बी बेस्ड ऑन वट वी कॉल इट बेस्ड uh, ऑन uh, जो हमारी आज की डिस्कशन होगी उसके बेसिस पे ये बेस्ड होगा तो फॉर डैट नाउ आई हैंड ओवर टू मिस्टर नीलेष शर्मा वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ आर एसोसिएशन नीलेष जी प्लीज टेक ओवर थैंक यू मनोज जी आई थिंक वेरी गुड अपडेट्स हैव बीन गिवन बाय यू टू ऑल अवर फ्रेंड्स and uh, prasad ji has also uh, 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 given some idea about these proposed amendments and i think uh, when we i go through this uh, these amendments then we will request prasad ji to offer uh, uh, his uh, expert comments on the same okay so let i have made one uh, ppt and uh, i will run that ppt and then simultaneously we can uh, 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 make discussions about the uh, proposed amendments and mamta ji can also offer uh, her uh, comments on the same and even other even other uh, participants can offer their comments okay so let me share my ppt first i hope you can see it on your screen can ji ji aa rahi hai aa rahi hai bilkul okay so as all of us are aware that uh, this discussion paper has been issued by ibbi on 7 11 and uh, through this uh, discussion paper they have invited suggestions uh, from the stakeholders uh, with respect to the proposed amendments uh, let's see what these amendments are uh, first of all source of the issues dealt with so there are certain uh, issues which have been dealt with Uh, under this discussion paper and as uh, this discussion paper is mainly with respect to the issues uh, relating to real estate sector so as all of us know that in real uh, in presently i think majority of the time of uh, honorable benches uh, is being devoted to real estate matters okay and uh, uh, huge complexities are there in these matters a number of issues are there new issues arise uh, uh, in different proceedings and then it takes a lot of time of uh, honorable court to deal with them okay so and as a result the uh, approval of resolution plan or whatever other processes are there they get delayed okay so there is an attempt by uh, ibbi to act, uh, to make some clarification uh, with respect to some of the issues huh? so source for these uh, issues which have been dealt with under this discussion paper has been one Uh, that there was uh, uh, one study group constituted by triple i p i and uh, which focused on improving real estate resolutions under ibc and coordination with rera okay so this study group has uh, make some findings and recommendations so that is one of the source uh, one of the sources of this uh, uh, the issues which are dealt with second is issues and concerns raised during consultation by ibbi with the stakeholders so ibbi has made the various discussions with the stakeholders including resolution applicant insolvency professionals and other key stakeholders and based on the consultations with them they have identified some of these issues okay next objective of the proposed amendment so the objective of these amendment is enhancing the efficiency and effectiveness of the real estate insolvency proceedings under ibc by addressing the practical challenges and proposing the targeted amendments areas covered so these are the areas which are covered under the proposals outlined in the discussion paper one proposed inclusion of land authorities in committee of creditors meeting okay so as we know that presently the land authorities they are not having any any uh, participation they are not allowed to normally participate uh, in this uh, committee of creditors except that we can still invite them but uh, normally there is no provision under uh, regulations to invite them mandatorily in in coc meetings so it has been felt uh, uh, by ibbi that if they are included in these uh, 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 coc meetings then it will be possible it will be possible for the coc to consider their issues also their concerns also can be considered and then there will be a resolution plan which is 
uh, when approved, it can easily be implemented. So it is not that after resolution plan is, uh, is uh, approved. After that, because of uh, uh, these uh, non-cooperation from land authorities, uh, uh, the uh, implementation of resolution plan doesn't take place. Second is handling cancelled land allotments in real estate insolvency cases. So uh, we know that uh, uh, the various authorities, including Noida, uh, Nilichi, Nilichi, uh, uh, I just stop here. अब ये वाला जो एक इशू आया है तो इसके ऊपर लेट माय ब्रदर्स एंड स्पेशली मिस्टर प्रसाद टू डेलीबरेट ऑन इट कि ये जो इशू उन्होंने डिस्कशन पेपर के लिए दिया है इस यू नो इस द ओपिनियन व्हाट ओपिनियन वी शुड एज एन आईपी फॉर्म व्हाइल सबमिटिंग आवर रिकमेंडेशन इन द डिस्कशन पेपर वो मनोज जी अभी करेंगे अभी तो आई थिंक ईच एंड एवरी इशू विल बी सेपरेटली कंसिडर्ड एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम बी मेकिंग द डिस्कशन हैंडिंग कैंसल्ड लैंड अलॉटमेंट सो नाउ बिकॉज दीज अथॉरिटीज दे नो दैट वंस ए कंपनी गोज इन टू इंसॉल्वेंसी प्रोसेस इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर देम टू टेक एनी एक्शन फॉर रिकवरी और फॉर कैंसलेशन so what they have done is now that they have started to cancel uh, these land allotments wherever there is a default in making payment of their dues okay so this is uh, uh, causing uh, uh, difficulties in in resolution of those cases where land allotments have been cancelled and now poor home buyers they are they are suffering because they they have paid huge amount of their uh, savings uh, to the builders and now authorities say that the land allotment is cancelled in spite of the fact that third party uh, third party interest has been created uh, has been created and that is pursuant to an agreement uh, uh, by the land uh, owning uh, 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 entity or authority with the builder then next issue is empower coc to facilitate participation of association of allottees as resolution applicants though we have seen that in in a number of matters associations they are they are participating in resolution processes as resolution applicants and uh, i think that should be allowed and that is happening in many cases uh, outsiders are not interested resolution applicants are not interested most of the cases we have seen that in real estate matters normally uh, the uh, 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 pras or uh, resolution applicants they don't sh show much interest though presently now you know that Uh, the prices in real estate are improving so people have started uh, having interest in these projects however earlier we have seen that uh, these uh, these type of projects were not having any takers and that was the reason that these associations they started uh, submitting resolution plans and uh, there the difficulty which has been dealt with here is that uh, mostly these associations are not commercial uh, entities and they can't match the eligibility criteria which is prescribed for commercial entities because these association they don't have any net worth they they don't they don't have any experience of uh, uh, doing the construction and all and then they don't have the capacity to pay the earnest money deposit or to pay huge amount of uh, uh, performance security so here through this amendment an attempt has been made to facilitate participation of these associations of a lot is as resolution applicants so i think it's a welcome thing and uh, definitely already we have been doing all this uh, in all the matters but i think when it is there as as a provision under regulations so i think some some uh, litigation can be uh, avoided clarification about inclusion of interest in home buyers claims in cirp this is another uh, area where this uh, the proposed amendment is being uh, Uh, there is a, a proposed amendment uh, because as we know that uh, interest at the rate of 8% is to be applied uh, for the purpose of uh, deciding the claims of the home buyers now question is that uh, some ips they are they they have the view that this interest calculation is only for the purpose of uh, determining their voting power and not for their actual claim so if for any reason if uh, they are not provided with their uh, uh, their unit uh, then in that case uh, their flat unit plot in that case they are refund uh, for the purpose of their refund this interest is to is also to be calculated through this uh, proposed amendment uh, the uh, uh, the effect will be this 
then proposal to disseminate committee of creditors minutes of the meeting to all creditors in a class of real estate but though the already provisions are there uh, of section 25a which require ar to share the minutes of uh, committee of creditors with uh, each and every member of the uh, of the class however now they say that uh, it should be uploaded on the website and then it should be readily available uh, to the uh, uh, to the members of the uh, members of a class of creditors streamlining possession handover in real estate projects so with respect to this uh, possession handover and transfer of ownership of real estate uh, units uh, there ha- there was some confusion because some of the uh, rps were of the view that uh, uh, section 14 moratorium will be applicable and then assets of the cd cannot be disposed of by him but through this amendment uh, they say that uh, through this amendment they are proposing to streamline the process of transferring uh, the ownership of the uh, uh, projects uh, of the flats and uh, units and uh, also handing over of possession uh, is tried to be facilitated ha uh, so these are the areas which are being covered through this uh, uh, through this discussion paper let's consider them all one by one so first of all inclusion of land authorities in committee of creditors meeting okay so as uh, uh, i think we have already discussed uh, that uh, prashad ji has already said that uh, what purpose will be served by inviting them to committee of creditors if they are not having any voting power and they can't have the voting powers because they are not financial creditors honorable supreme court has already held that they are they are operational creditors only but but this uh, proposed amendment says that they should be invited they should be invited to the uh, coc meeting so that they can they can they can make some suggestions with respect to the various uh, uh, provisions of the resolution plan they can inform the coc about about their dues about their rights and uh, etc okay so that uh, proposal uh, uh, is there uh, let's let's go through actually what they intend by making these uh, changes huh? so i will read it very quickly in corporate uh, in cirp involving real estate companies land authorities play a crucial role but currently lack mandatory representation in the committee of creditor at present fcs are included in the coc while land authorities generally being operational creditors are not this absence may lead to insufficient consideration of land authorities perspectives on land related issues and regulatory requirements potentially causing delays or complications in implementation of resolution plan due to unforeseen challenges moreover valuable inputs from land authorities that could enhance the viability and feasibility of resolution plan is often missed reducing coordination between the insolvency proceedings and land related matters so uh, 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 it says that they will not be having any any uh, participation in decision making okay so decision making authority will continue to be with the financial creditors with the coc however they will be allowed they will be invited to these uh, meetings and uh, they will be allowed to make their Uh, uh representation they are allowed to uh, inform coc about their perspective etc okay so uh, so this is one thing but but uh, the question is that uh, uh, whether by participation only they will be this will be solving the resol- uh, solving the issue relating to the to these uh, land owning authorities i don't no. think that their participation only will be helping us in resolving this part, this complex issue because in all the cases what we have seen is that main issue is that they are in, these authorities are interested in recovering their dues Correct. and their dues, yes mm. see in fact the land loss respect to land loss should Jee. enable the land authorities to consider the real estate projects on a different footing and Jee. there should be an enabling provision in those land laws rather mm-hmm. than ib tinkering with ibc no Jee. doubt tinkering with ibc will help but basic but... land laws should have an enabling provision to the authorities to act smoothly in real estate projects 
सर इसमें एक 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 सर एक मिनट मिले जी मैं आई एम अलाउट टू स्पीक देखिए सर व्हाट इट मैं बताता हूँ आपको मेरे को ये लग रहा है ना अभी फरवरी के आसपास एक जजमेंट आई थी ग्रेटर नोएडा अथॉरिटी वर्सेस प्रभजीत सिंह करके सोनी का प्रभजीत सिंह सोनी डैट पर डैट वाज अ वेरी लैंडमार्क जजमेंट व्हाट हैपन इन डैट केस कि जो भी ये रेशन प्रोसेस प्रोसास करा गया था उसको सारा का सारा बिकॉज ऑफ ग्रेटर नोएडा अथॉरिटी रिवर्स कर दिया गया था वाई आर ऑनरेबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट most probably to cover that particular pitfall or to cover that particular uh, yeah, you know aspect in the future judgment they are coming out with this suggestion ki land authorities ko kara jaye in my opinion whatever cases i have handled dekhiye ab ha ji manoj ji ko theek hai ki unko include karne ke liye amendment is being proposed but whether that will be their part this is i'm coming to be but i'm coming देखिए आज की डेट में अभी तक हमारे पास ऐसा आईबीसी के अंदर देयर इज नथिंग लाइक दैट विच सेज की ए अदर देन क्रेडिटर्स कैन बी इंक्लूडेड देयर बट वंस अगर हम लोगों ने एक इस तरह की चीज को स्टार्ट कर दिया देन लेट्स से इन होम बायस के केस में रेयर इज अ वेरी डोमिनेटिंग अथॉरिटी दे विल आल्सो से कि हमारे को भी इंक्लूड कर लो और मे बी इन लेट्स गो टू अनदर सेक्टर उसके अंदर कोई और रेजोल्यूशन अथॉरिटी होगी वो कहेगी हमारे को भी इंक्लूड कर लो और व्हाट हैपन व्हाट प्रैक्टिकली हैपन इज दैट किसी भी सीओसी के अंदर अगर कोई इस तरह के लोग आते हैं ना तो सिर्फ अपना इंटरेस्ट देखते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल कि फाइनेंशियल क्राइडर्स को एक बहुत बड़ा एलिगेशन है कि दे ट्रीट यू नो आरपी एज ए रिकवरी एजेंट और ये ऑल दिस थिंग्स जो कि एक बंद कमरे के अंदर होती है और एक आईबीसी का ऑब्जेक्टिव रिवाइवल कह लो जहां गोइंग कंसर्न के एंगल से लिया जाता था उस तरह का डिसीजन लेने में हम लोगों को बहुत ज्यादा दिक्कत आएगी एंड आई फील दे शुड नॉट बी अलाउड इन टोटलिटी ऑफ सरकमस्टांसेस दिस इज ऑल आई हैव टू से ओके नहीं नहीं वन वन मिनट मिनट सर बोथ शर्मा जी और आनंद जी एंड अदर पार्टिसिपेंट्स सी इट इज अ वेलकमिंग स्टेप ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग द लैंड अथॉरिटीज टू हैव हाउ सीओसी इज सीओसी इज वर्किंग एंड व्हाट आर देयर इंटरेस्ट इन द सीओसी दैट्स ओके दे आर कमिंग एंड स्पीकिंग टू सीओसी दैट दीस आर आवर प्रॉब्लम्स कीप दिस इन टू माइंड एंड लेट द रिजोल्यूशन प्लान बी a framed keeping our interest into view but ultimately if you want to get some good result land loss the i the in ibba should request all the land authorities under their respective legislations there should be some enabling provision see one is unless you give both sides attack one is land loss land authorities loss and ibc you both Uh, enabling and facilitating the interest of real estate stakeholders then only we will be able to get a better result so my suggestion is that when you write to ibbi kindly write that the land respect to land authorities whosoever participates they should make some kind of rule regulation either in the main legislation or by subordinate legislation some kind of enabling facility whereby they can waive certain amounts so that the projects can go smoothly what amounts they can waive something like interest exemplary interest and interest on interest all these things are there and all those things if they can there can be a waiver then um, that will be a good step so what i request is uh, you to recommend to ibbi a apart from um, inviting the land authorities to be part of the coc let the land loss or the land loss ka by loss whatever rule regulation order ordinance custom usage whatever they call it that should be there should be some enabling provision whereby the land authorities can have a smooth approach especially for real estate projects which were under the ibc jurisdiction uh, right. sir uh, uh, with respectfully i say uh, land laws are governed by each state you know that's and that's firstly uh, no ibba uh, is a central central authority they can okay, write okay. each land okay. law state to to they study their laws 
see as a regulator sometimes you have to shoulder additional responsibility okay. ibba has to study respect to land laws or constitute a committee to study the land laws and suggest what modifications which really facilitate the concept of them involving into the coc ultimately right. see if the government express their anguish and they say these people have to pay this charge that charge that charge. what is the use there yeah. should be some kind of enabling weapon in the hands of the land authorities to consider the situation of ib project and give some waivers so that the project can be successful kindly yeah. oh. to recommend kindly okay. recommend okay. you recommend to ibva to take up local land authorities to consider an enabling provision to be incorporated either under their main statute or under the subordinate legislation under which they are working should have an enabling provision for having a smooth consideration for a real estate projects which were subject matter of ibc definitely the definitely. way it is being done that's in that's the income tax it yeah, will have the way it is done in the income tax no no uh, i will explain i will explain yes sir yeah, yes nilesh ji ek aap ek choti thi request ho raha hai jab hum uh, discussion kar rahe hote hain apni ppt ko minimize kar dijiye if uh, possible okay. if technical possible okay okay acha so what i am saying is that uh, uh, even earlier under sick industrial companies act different yes. state governments and different departments yes. of uh, central government they were having their policies for the uh, for the revival or for the rehabilitation of sick companies yes, so see yes. here here i think each and every land authority may formulate right. their policy their policy to deal with in this type, to deal with this type of matters of uh, uh, that should be there eg so that policy should be there the main reason has been that presently in all the matters huge dues are there including mm -hmm. principal amount including interest penal interest penalties uh. which can't be paid by this uh, uh, this uh, cd ji see so the principal amount is okay interest penal interest additional interest yes. all these are becoming more than the principal amount due who will be really venture to pay this correct totally agree with you uh, so i think we should propose we should propose that uh, there should be some though i think ibpa is not having any authority over these uh, Uh, state government entities like noida or any greater noida etc however i think there has to be something uh, through which they can be forced or they can be uh, 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 required to formulate a policy and that they should circulate that and that uh -huh. see it is not that we are saying that in all the cases let them waive their entire interest and all uh -huh. but based on the well they, they there has to be some committee of theirs which should consider as to what they are going to get ultimately out of these processes and based on the same let them take a decision if if suppose there is ibba ibc ibba should constitute a settlement advisory committee in such matters and they should settle ji and it should be binding on all right 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 like so you know the bank the banking sector has and a settlement advisory committee for huge debts ji ji like right. that on that guidelines ibba can devise a, an advisory committee which will which the land authorities have to accept it as a binding decision and follow it up great right. thank you sir thanks a lot thank you uh, we shall recommend accordingly all right yeah kindly well, go to the next point ji 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 and uh, so this was one inclusion of uh, uh, sir i request uh, other participants also they can also participate actively and uh, enlighten each other uh, on these particular aspects let it not be confined to two or three people only i request other participants to also enlighten us okay so another issue which has been dealt with is handling cancelled land allotments in real estate insolvency cases but uh, though they are making this 
proposal they are making some uh, change in the uh, regulations but uh, i don't think this uh, proposed amendment is giving any solution to this problem because if they have cancelled so they say that you have to at the earliest you have to inform to the coc that this land has been cancelled so that coc can take a decision regarding liquidation of the company but that is not the solution i think in this type of a situation where a land allotment has been has been cancelled in that kind of a situation they must have a policy they must have that policy that uh, how this reinstatement of this uh, uh, cancelled land allotment can take place ultimately yes. they are interested in their yes. views so with res in in the policy which they will be framing with respect to these uh, insolvency cases i think they must meet uh, they must have a clause relate relating to reinstatement of the cancelled allotment Re-allotment, exactly, exactly, like, exactly. Like re-allotment, we will call it. Let us not say re re-installation of the allotment. Re-allotment, like re you know, when a comp when a company um, name is striked off uh, under the provisions of the Companies Act, uh, suppose under Section two fifty two, subclass one, two, and three, we do revive the companies and CLT. So such kind of enabling. power should be either given to nclc or should be a policy should be framed by ibpi or the land authorities should be asked to frame such policy right right so i think that kind of uh, suggestion has to be incorporated yeah. and it should that, have to, yes either that, adjudicating authority should be empowered to suggest for reallotment of the land to the particular developer and which should be followed by the uh, land authorities or number 2 land authority should have a policy or number 3 ibba should itself make a policy or a regulation within the framework of the law in in what cases such reallotment is permitted and right. at what cost right any other There suggestion from to reach the goal g definitely uh, any other suggestion from any other uh, participant no uh, dilechi uh, we were supposed to end our meeting by 4 it's already 10 12 minutes so uh, about please move uh, swiftly please please move right. swiftly empower coc to facilitate participation of associations of allottees as resolution applicants uh so for this purpose what they are proposing is that uh, this this is the proposed amendment they say that under 36a4 uh, this explanation will be added where the cd has any real estate project the committee of creditor may relax for an association or group of allottees representing minimum of 10% of allottees of that project or 100 whichever is lower in respect of one eligibility criteria for submission of expression of interest and earnest money deposit requirements so these two these two uh, 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 items like uh, eligibility eligibility criteria and emd requirement so these can be relaxed by the coc okay and then there is another requirement there is another amendment which is uh, which is to uh, sub regulation 4a will be added to regulation 36b and it says that the committee of creditors can relax the requirement to provide for performance security for an association or group of allottees representing the minimum 10% whichever is lower so even in the case of with respect to the uh, uh, performance security also coc can have uh, can have uh, relaxed requirement okay any suggestion sir i think it's a welcome uh, step yeah this is a welcome We, step i, I welcome you. madan sir madan sir please uh, you know thoda uh, sa participate kariye and enlighten everybody Actually, I saw it as a four to five event. That's my bad. आगे तो सर हम आपको फोन कर दिया करेंगे. प्रशांत सर नमस्कार. नमस्कार जी नमस्कार. कैसे हैं सर? Yeah, this is a welcome step. We can uh, um, we can uh, we will not raise uh, any. We rather say please implement it at the earliest. कौन सी amendment की बात कर रहे हैं सर? 
सर जिसमें ये एसोसिएशन का अलाउ करेंगे फॉर दिपर रिलैक्स्ड क्राइटेरिया के साथ बिडिंग करने के लिए यस ये जो दो रिक्वायरमेंट है जिसमें प्लेटफॉर्म बड़ा करने के लिए सर बिडिंग प्लेटफॉर्म बढ़ाने के लिए जी मदन जी दिस विल एनेबल ब्लीडिंग प्लेटफॉर्म टू ब्रॉडन राइट सर इसमें एक बात बताइए एज ए यू नो कोर्ट्स विल नॉट ट्रीट इट एज ए डिस्क्रिमिनेटरी कि आप एक तरफ तो एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया फॉर ए पर्टिकुलर क्लास के लिए कम कर रहे हो और बाकियों के लिए आप सेम प्लेटफॉर्म कर रहे हो प्लीज कमेंट ऑफ दिस ऑल थ्री आल्सो रीजनेबल क्लासिफिकेशन इज परमिटेड अंडर लॉ मनोज जी अगर आपको ध्यान हो तो इन केस ऑफ एमएसएमई कंपनीज आल्सो सिमिलर एग्जामिनेशन इज एप्लीकेबल टू द प्रोविजंस ऑफ एमएसएमई टू सबमिट अ रेजोल्यूशन प्लान दे आर नॉट सब्जेक्ट टू ऑल दिस ओके देयर हैज आई डोंट थिंक देयर इज इशू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी बीन डूइंग डूइंग ऑल दिस इन माय मैटर्स इन माय डिफरेंट मैटर्स आई हैव हैड दिस टाइप ऑफ कंसेशंस गिवन टू दीस एसोसिएशंस एंड ऑल सो लाइक for for uh, for other commercial entities the uh, net worth requirement of 50 crore was there with respect to these entities i prescribed that if they are having a certain membership of each project then they can also participate huh? and uh, with respect to emd requirements other were required to make payment of uh, 5 crore and these entities they were allowed to uh, uh, give emd of rupees 10 lakh so that kind of thing is permissible and even honorable b nclt also upheld the same thing i think that has traveled up to maybe i think uh, up to honorable and clad and uh, ek cheez hame isme dhyan rakhni hai ki here we are talking about 10% or 100 of that particular project only it means we are talking about project wise insolvency resolution not of a company as a whole so when when you see yes, coc is prescribing about all this they can they can have different uh, type of no, uh, no the, the, you know the regulation is providing of the project the proposed regulation is talking about yes. the project and yeah, yeah, the lot is of that project or 100 whichever right so the, the, let it so, be let it be it is to the advantage only no that's okay sir but a clarity has to be provided are you talking about resolution of the company or resolution of the project hmm. see now their resolution of the project only is being encouraged not the company sir that's i'm saying please provide the clarity that's all ah this we can ask to clarify this correct uh, no they have they have written in the proposed amendment they have written that uh, association or group of allottees representing minimum of 10% of allottees of that project Or ah, ah, when it is correct, correct. When it is said that project, the project is specific only. Correct. So it means this will apply in case where the project-wise plans are being invited. Yes, I am saying that others also to others. No, others also, others also. No, how others? How others? No, it will not be applicable to others. When so project... if there is a if there is a plan which is for the company as a whole. so in that case can we not uh, prescribe uh, this uh, uh, relaxed uh, requirements uh, for associations if suppose there is a consortium of associations of suppose four projects are there and all four associations they are clubbing together for the purpose of giving a resolution plan so shall we say that no you will be you will not be having these re relaxed requirements you will have to uh, match the requirements which are applicable to other commercial entities Uh, no consortium of association is a different concept no ji uh -huh. consortium of association and association are different consortium <laughs> means all the stake all the unit uh, real stakeholders are coming together in such a case it is uh, it may be with the discretion of the adjudicating authority it can be allowed my only worry is it should not lead to further litigation because here we are talking about Association of home buyers. Now the association of home buyers. If there are multiple home buyers, what will happen? Now, if there are multiple home buyers, one home, one association for each project. If they do not join hands, then ten percent of which association, which project will be taken, will be taken the company as a whole or project as a whole. So the total clarity needs to be provided, sir. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in favor of this amendment, but complete clarity requires to be provided so that adjudicators are not burdened with further applications. Correct. Correct.
their voting share but also for the purpose of distribution under section 53 or under a resolution plan so this regulation 8a of the principal re regulations after sub regulations 3 the following sub regulation shall be substituted the interest calculated at the rate of 8% per annum for the purpose of determining the voting share of a creditor in a class under sub regulation 16a7 shall also be included in the claim amount of such creditor unless a different arrangement has been agreed between the parties so i, I, I was never having any doubt about all this because we were accepting their claim by inclusion of this 8% interest so it is not that it was only for the purpose of determining their voting share nilechi mai ispe batata hu in many of the uh, uh, sir ek minute in many of the uh, cases uh, only for the purpose of voting share hi rps is include kar rahe the unka jo claim hota tha wo sirf gross amount ka hi le rahe the 8% uska par interest ka additional nahi dal rahe the to iska par koi law clear nahi tha no they want uh, to make it uh, like that uh, that is there we don't have yes, any issue, please. Please. according uh, to me did nothing but a clarificatory in nature एडिशन टू ए आर वी कैन अपॉइंट सीओ सी कैन अलॉज टू और सीओ सी कैन डायरेक्ट for uh, appointment of one uh, one or more uh, 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 these uh, what we call facilitators okay so these provisions let's go through these provisions as to what what actually they are proposing so after regulation 3c the following sub regulations shall be inserted where the number of creditors in a class referred to in this regulation exceeds 1000 in aggregate so first of all this this can be allowed only when there is a there are more than uh, 1000 uh, creditors in a particular class then the community may direct the irp or rp as the case may be to appoint or replace an insolvency professional other than interim resolution professional rp or ar as facilitators for subgroups within the class subject to following condition so actually so coc is not going to appoint coc will be issuing instructions to the rp or irp as the case may be and then but this appointment will be subject to these conditions one appointment of facilitator shall be considered only if after the first meeting of the committee at least 10% of the creditors in the class or 100 creditors whichever is lower request the inclusion of an agenda item for such appointment categorization of creditors into subgroups for the purpose of their assignment to respective facilitators so that categorization of creditors into subgroup has to be there so that they can be attached with one facilitator then total number of facilitator shall not exceed 5 the fees for facilitator shall be 20% of the fee specified for the ar and such fee for facilitator shall be part of insolvency resolution process cost then 3e roles and responsibilities of the facilitator shall include one facilitating communication between ar and the creditors assigned to him attend the meeting of the committee as observer as observer to facilitate communication then provide information providing information and clarifications to the creditors about the insolvency resolution process as per the advice of ar any other task assigned to the to assigned by the committee to improve representation and communication then there is another amendment which is proposed for inclusion of fee payable to facilitator under cirp cost so these are the amendments okay so they are proposing that ar is not able to handle one single ar is not able to handle these assignments and uh, so there is a need that there should be another facilitator or there should be more than one facilitators in large in in bigger cases 
but i think the the, the another important thing is that uh, uh, the for each class uh, for each project the question is whether for each project we should constitute a separate class or all the home buyers they should constitute only a single class so i think that question is there uh, i have in some mat matters considered i have uh, in some matter uh, uh, constituted separate classes for each project and that was uh, upheld by honorable nclt and honorable nclt also and they said that they are having diverse interests so there is one project which is in noida another project is Gur in gurgaon and one is uh, there is another piece of land where some bookings have been made but there is no building constructed there on so are they not having uh, are they not having separate class should they not be treated as separate classes and if they have the, if they are constituted as separate classes then they will be having separate years for them so i think I, uh, I I also uh -huh. do like that. I also do like that. In MR's case, I was having separate year for uh, for Gurugama, for Jaipur, for uh, Chennai, and all this thing there. For but now the yeah, each project, project be treated as a separate class. Separate, separate class. And uh, now the question come out to be there: Will there be projects whereby more than thousand mem member will be there? Only in that case, this particular facilitator clause will be applicable. That will be, you know, uh, the, uh, please, uh, the others can also comment. No, that, that appears to be justified, no, unless large number of people are involved. Why there should be a dilution of working system? Right. And an additional cost also will be ah, there. It unnecessarily inflates the cost, no? Yes. Yes. Uh, facilitator uh, qualification has not been prescribed. Uh, uh, does it, it require to be, to be prescribed? Idea. IP. He has to be an IP. Other than Absolutely. IRP, RP or AR. Yeah, definitely. Uh, no, no, it, it is not the, the suggested in this guideline. Should we suggest that he should be IP only? No, it is written there. That it is, is written there. Okay, okay. IP okay. will be appointed as facilitator. Madan, okay, sir, fair, fair. suggestion of uh, Because it is written that it should be IP. And my suggestion is if you read this proposed regulation, it says where the number of creditors in a class referred to in this regulation exceeds 1,000 in the aggregate. Uh -huh. Now the word aggregate they have already used. Now, if you have a separate project, separate COC, separate AR, and aggregate is more than 1,000, but each class, each committee is not consisting of 1,000, less than, you can assume less than 1,000. It means in this case that will not be applicable. No, so what they are proposing is that if in in bigger cases only these yeah. uh, these uh, people can be appointed. That's fine. Can be appointed. But but Nilesh the practice which you are following on Manoj Nigar, he is also following that practice. Suppose huh. there are four different projects, each having six hundred. Huh. In aggregate, there are twenty four hundred. Huh. But each COC here consists of four six hundred, and each COC is having its own AR. Huh. So whether in such a scenario this provision will be applicable or not. Uh, I think, Mr. Madan, if they uh, specifically provide in the regulations that each project will be treated as a separate class, then I think there may not be the need for any additional facilitator. But where have they provided, they five or six so where have they provided that each, if each project will be considered a separate class? What I'm saying is that they should provide. Exactly. Provide like exactly. That, then exactly. There will not be instead, no, no, my suggestion is instead of yes. this facilitator, they should Separate provide AR that each project quality. will have its own COC and it will have its own AR. Correct. Correct. Yes. And one and more thing. In what, this will AR will, what will AR do now? If suppose facilitator is uh, 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 talking to the home buyers and others, then he will be, he, he only has to attend the uh, COC meeting. They will uh, maybe attend a uh, facilitator meeting also. <laughs> right. but facilitator will be attending the meeting as observer right right and observer is not having any right to participate in the proceedings ho theek hai but main ye keh raha hu ki dekhiye inki jo responsibilities di hain wo kya hain roles and responsibility facilitating communication between ar and the creditors to ar kya karega 
इसकी जगह पे हम ऐसा नहीं सजेस्ट कर सकते यू नो इट्स कमिंग आउट जैसे हमारे यहाँ पे ऑडिट में होता है जहाँ बड़ी कंपनीज होती है वहाँ जॉइंट एडिटर अपॉइंट कर दिए जाते हैं लेट इन दी केस ऑफ से एक्सीडिंग थाउजेंड लॉट इज और समथिंग लाइक दैट लेट मोर देन वन एयर भी अपॉइंटेड नहीं नहीं उसकी बेस्ट ऑफ फैक्टर होगा ना मिस मनोज जी कि अगर सेपरेट क्लासेस के लिए आप सेपरेट प्रोजेक्ट्स के लिए अगर आप वो कर देते हो तो आई थिंक सारी प्रॉब्लम आपकी रिजॉल्व हो जाती है नहीं अगर नहीं आई एग्री विद यू लेट्स गो फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर पर्जेप्शन नोएडा के अंदर जेपी का एक पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट था जिसके अंदर हजार से ऊपर बंदे थे इन दैट केस फैसिलिटेटर की एज पर रेगुलेशन आ जाएगी तो इंस्टेड ऑफ गोइंग फॉर अ फैसिलिटेटर विच इज एन एक्सेप्शनल सिचुएशन लेट यू नो रेगुलेशन वी कैन सुस की बी अमेंडेड वेयर बाय इन केस ऑफ मोर देन थाउजेंड लेट टू ए आर बी अपॉइंटेड बट ए आर में फिर वो वो कैसे उनकी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज कैसे वो देखिए ना जैसे मैं बताता हूँ जैसे चार टॉवर है एक प्रोजेक्ट के अंदर दो टॉवर के लिए एक ए आर हो गया दो टॉवर के लिए एक और ए आर हो गया इस तरह से करके क्लासीफाई कर दिया जाए बिकॉज वॉट हैपन इज डेट कि जितना ज्यादा आप चीजों को बढ़ाते जाएंगे या एक एडिशनल चीजें लाते जाएंगे ना उतना कन्फ्यूजन और ऑल दिस थिंग जैसे अभी मदान सर ने एक कन्फ्यूजन के बारे में बताया कि इट कैन है again separate ar then there may be a conflict between the ars yes, correct, let correct. there be a facilitator who works under ar that is a right approach right chaliye mere khayal se facilitator who works sir aisa to ar versus irp rp ka bhi conflict ho sakta hai to wo to ar ki ar ka role and responsibility separate no hierarchy mein hierarchy mein facilitator If it is put under AR, then uh, there will not be any conflict, no. But if both AR or ARs are there, then there can be a conflict. Okay. But facilitator को fees भी क्या देने वाले हो सर आप twenty percent. हाँ fees. अब facilitator को twenty percent of the AR. Mm-hmm. Proposed किया है ना? Now only new oh, incumbents who want to learn this process want to learn IBC certainly they will offer to become facilitator. On the year hoga 20 percent of the fee. Bidder mein kon tiyar hoga sir? Ab batao na. Chali ham ye suggest karte hain ki fee jo hai wo badha di jaye. AR will keep AR will keep his own man and twenty uh, percent he will give and he will also accordingly get his tax structure divided upon. Sir CEO CEO C will appoint. ओके ठीक है सर ट्वेंटी परसेंट की फीस की लिमिट बढ़ा देते हैं एज एन आई पी वी कैसे ट्वेंटी परसेंट शुड बी इंक्रीज कितना तक चालीस परसेंट कर दीजिए फिफ्टी परसेंट कर दीजिए फिफ्टी परसेंट फिफ्टी परसेंट विल बी टू हाई चलिए चालीस कर दीजिए थर्टी कर दीजिए सी पेमेंट शुड बी इन कमेंट विद रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज डिस्चार्ज बाई हिम What is the facilitator responsibility, role and responsibility? He has to bridge the communication gap, basically. And right. for commun- bridging the communication gap, you are volunteering forty percent, twenty-five percent would be reasonable. Twenty to twenty-five, you can say. Then, if we say forty percent, then we will get twenty percent. As an IP, we will always say higher side. Okay, you can say it. But you can say it. But you can say it. But you can say it. Uh, whatever you recommend, if it is to be accepted, it should be reasonable. Role okay, played sir. by the okay. facilitator, vis-a-vis AR, has to be seen. He right. is only a person who is going to bridge the communication gap. So he should be twenty twenty-five percent is the right fee only. Okay, sir. Okay. ठीक है. आप twenty-five twenty-five percent तक recommend कर सकता है, not forty and okay. fifty. Okay, Then sir. I okay. Then I ask you, what is the rationale behind your suggestion? Right. Sir, what I will tell you one thing. As an ER, I have done some assignments. It is very difficult to handle the home buyers. Together, all the things, listen to them in every place, in two or three days, there are two or three associations. They are made up of one another. As an ER, I have done some assignments. Together, all the things, listen to them in every place, in two or three days, there are two or three associations. They are made up of one another. As an ER, I have done some assignments. Together, all the things, listen to them in every place, in two or three days, there are two or three associations. They are made up of one another. आनंद जी ये सुनिए नाइट वॉचमैन पूरा नाइट जागता है आप और हम सोते हैं इज पेड फॉर दैट टास्क दैट साल ओके सर ओके ओके एग्री ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट तक आप रिकमेंड कीजिए इफ यू वांट दैट कैन बी रेशनल ओके सर ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एग्री यू से दैट वन फोर्थ ऑफ ए आर फी शुड गो टू दैसिलिटेटर 
because he is going to bridge the communication gap between the no, air and not, the... it is not one fourth of the air space his fees will be independent in, in addition to air space not one fourth of air space nahi nee, nee. one fourth quantum of fee no, is one fourth of air fee is the parameter yes that's all that's fine air fee to be reduced air ko ab 10 rupya pay ta pay karta hai to isko 2 rupees 50 paisa pay karo hmm. chaliye sir aage chaliye next proposal to disseminate committee of creditors minutes of the meeting to all creditors in class of real estate products so i don't think I, we are having any issues the proposed amendment is that in principal regulations 25 uh, sub regulation 5 clause a the following proviso shall be inserted provided that where the cd has any real estate project the minutes of the meetings of creditor shall also be made accessible to all creditors in a class through a secured login system okay i i don't think okay. any... that is good only हाँ जी हाँ जी दो दो ऑलरेडी लॉ प्रोवाइड दैट दे विल बी प्रोवाइडेड विद कॉपी ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी मिनिट्स ऑफ द मीटिंग हाँ बट बट स्टिल रीडीली अवेलेबल आई थिंक दे विल बी हैविंग रीडी रीडी एक्सेस टू दिस मिनिट्स ठीक है सर आप ये बताना जब हम आई एम उसका सस देते हैं कितने होम बायर आई एम का आर एफ आर पी का सस लेते हैं लेता ही नहीं सर कोई एक बार ही आपने उनको मीटिंग्स में दी प्रैक्टिकली चलिए दे दीजिए ओके अवेलेबल मनोज जी मैं आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछता हूँ आप कितनी कंपनीज के शेयर लिस्टेड कंपनी के शेयर होल्डर्स हैं कितनी ईमेल खोलते हैं कितने वोट डालते हैं आप सही शेयर नहीं करते नहीं डालते नहीं डालते ठीक कह रहे हो अच्छा नहीं नीलेष जी इसमें मेरी एक ऑब्जर्वेशन है ऑन देश जो पिछला ड्राफ्ट ये सर बताइए सर इफ यू रीड दी डिस्कशन पेपर डिस्कशन पेपर में उन्होंने लिखा है it will pichla la previous one this one nahi nahi abhi jo login wala tha na minutes ka ha ye uh. if you read the discussion paper discussion paper where they are writing that minutes will be hosted on the website of the cd uh. but here that portion is missing here they are simply saying accessible to all creditors in the class through a secured login system now it may be through email also without uh. having it on the website नहीं लॉग इन सिस्टम तो वही हुआ ना आपकी वेबसाइट पे ना ना सॉरी मैं मैं आप मैं आपको ईमेल भेजता हूँ अनलेस यू लॉग इन यू कांट ओपन इट यू मेक अ रिक्वेस्ट टू मी आई गिव लॉग इन कर देन ओनली यू कैन ओपन इट और तो व्हेन द डिस्कशन पेपर सेज ऑन दी वेबसाइट लेट्स राइट इट एयर इट शेल बी होस्टेड ऑन दी वेबसाइट एंड शेल बी एक्सेसिबल थ्रू ए लॉग इन सिस्टम अगर कोई डिफरेंस है तो ठीक है डेफिनेटली वी राइट दैट बिकॉज डिफरेंस तो है ना As he, as Madan ji's observation here, hundred percent is correct. Let it be on the website yes. so that everybody will get to can take the advantage. Okay, no problem. Uh, so we will incorporate that. Let yeah, me. we will incorporate. Thank you, Madan ji. Thanks for letting me. Thank we you. We will not incorporate. We'll we'll suggest to incorporate. सर मैं एक काम करता हूँ ये निलेजी आप Madan ji के साथ बिल सर ऐसा करना है. Suggestions we will incorporate it. सर नहीं नहीं सर उसमें भी सर कोई ना कोई गलती हो जाएगी हमारे से तो यू नो मैडम आगे मैं चुप हो जाऊंगा नहीं नहीं सर नहीं नीलेष जी और मदान जी इसकी लैंग्वेज बनाएंगे सजेशंस की नहीं नहीं सर नीलेष जी और मदान जी इसकी लैंग्वेज बनाएंगे क्या क्या सजेशन देनी है सो दैट वी एज एन आरपी नॉट कमिट एनी मिस्टेक इवन इन डूइंग दैट थिंग और वो हम अपने सारे मेंबर्स को फॉलो कर दें सर फॉरवर्ड कर देंगे काइंडली डोंट वरी अबाउट डूइंग मिस्टेक्स जी Uh, confusion as to whether rp can rp can execute sale deed with respect to completed uh, uh, flats or completed units uh, so because the uh, the reason for this confusion was that section 14 uh, which deals with moratorium provisions it provides that the the cd cannot sell its its assets uh, so they say that uh, if if there is any uh, 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 there, there is any flat or there is any plot etc so rp cannot execute the sale deed because it will be in violation of section uh, 14 so this issue has been clarified by honorable uh, uh, nclat in alok sharma 
and others versus versus ip constructions private limited okay so they have they have said that actually these assets they are current assets they can be they, they are not fixed assets so restrictions will be on the on the sale of fixed assets if if restrictions are allowed or imposed on sale of uh, uh, of your inventory then in that case you can't carry on with the business you can't uh, maintain the going concern status of the cd because you will not be able to sell even the even the products in which the company is uh, dealing okay so so honorable anclet in this particular matter said that real estate company it is possible that uh, the rp can execute sale deed because he is dealing with the inventory and he is not violating section 14 so this is one so that is the that in order to clear that uh, confusion so this proposal is being made and this proposal the amendments are these are the proposed amendments and two things one handing over of the possession so 4e deals with handing over of the possession and it says that after obtaining the approval of the committee again approval of the committee why approval of committee is required because if for the purpose of meeting the going that, concern that, no, no, that is required that is required why because ji there should be a maker and checker there should be somebody who will cross check the action no before action is taken place this is a good step only let there be a committee committee see it what is wrong in it sir kindly tell me one thing uh, it is the responsibility of one minute, one minute. Says, okay, let it go let me let me give uh, my perspective one is that the rp has the responsibility of maintaining the going concern status okay right. so sir so if there is a company sir if there is a company which deals with the uh, with the suppose it, it any good sir one minute sorry Go, if it is in goods ha huh, if it is dealing in some for example some uh, some uh, uh, this one uh, washing machine okay so then yeah. rp sells that washing machine he because yeah. he has to continue with the business he is not supposed to take the approval of the coc for the purpose of uh, selling the inventory of the company then why in the case of real estate we should we should uh, ask him to take the approval of coc and sir you know that these committees yeah. coc is yeah. not give consent they say that no it it will be our responsibility in that case so they don't give the consent so that is the problem and going concern actually rp is having two responsibilities one set of responsibility is with respect to running the process running the process he is required to take the approval of coc for each and everything yes. Yes. but for the purpose of for the purpose of continuing the business of the cd he is not supposed to he, he is not even required to take the approval of the coc for the purpose of incurring these uh, these costs uh a day to day cost which are not related with the uh, insolvency resolution uh, process though uh, they have recently amended amended regulations and they say that even for that approval will be required but it will be difficult if a company is having a large number of uh, uh, a large number of manufacturing uh, uh, units then can the coc approve all the cost relating to employees relating to purchase when coc is made obligatory to approve they will do it why they can't do it but it is it is practically impossible sir it is practically impossible you can't compare the concept of shelter with that of a washing machine no I, what i'm saying is the company one okay. company is dealing with are, one company are, is dealing we are talking with about here we are talking about a basic need food shelter and clothing shelter is the basic need this basic need need to be properly go to the proper person in a proper way without any misappropriation let there be checks and balance of coc nothing wrong in it but that i don't know I'm why sure, you are worried i'm sure the committee will never give the uh, the uh, concern i am telling you my experience i am telling you committee was directed to examine it and accord their approval they are bound to do it sir we are giving too much importance to the we are giving too much importance to the committee kindly see let me tell you in the case of real estate project in my case in one of my cases uh, there are there were four projects which were under construction where construction had not been completed there 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 are other three or four projects which had completed long back 
now the home buyers of those completed projects they approached me they said that kindly do the registration of sale deed in my favor i said then uh, I, i thought that yes it is possible because rp is having the responsibility of maintaining the going concern st uh, status and this is part of his duties as a, for maintaining that so but i in order to uh, maintain transparency i discussed it with the coc coc said no you will not do it they said you don't do it then i had to approach honorable nclt and honorable nclt then directed me that okay you do it and then after that i have i have done this uh, registration work so sir sir i see in your case at that time there is no enabling provision no now but you are making it an enabling provision with a kind of supervisory responsibility on coc we are talking about creditors regime in ibc nothing wrong in asking coc to look you just look and say i am going to sell this what is wrong in it they will not approve sir that is the practical difficulty i am telling you in most of the cases they are not approving our legal costs they are not approving our other cost home buyers cases it is very difficult basically uh, sir uh, i sorry to interrupt there is a thing because if some majority of the home buyers who are not getting their flat and there are only one project has completed they have a less home buyer suppose so definitely they will not approve because they will sir, think, they will think sir, like you, that you, my sir. project is not completed how can give approval to the other person to get their home that because after of registry of definitely you are right you are yes, right sir. this type no, of thing is there if you are feeling like that then you go to the adjudicating authority then again the litigation will continue sir and no, then again we back to the same square no no time is consuming also time consuming definitely it's it's, it's, it's sir okay. sir sir ek minute let me conclude it uh, this discussion sir hum as an ip maximum power chahenge हमारी पावर में कहीं पे भी कोई तलवार लटकेगी तो हम उसको कभी रिकमेंड नहीं करेंगे वी आर एन इंसॉलेंसी प्रोफेशनल एसोसिएशन तो नीलेष जी लेट्स गो विद इट सर की रिस्पेक्टफुली हम बात मानते हैं बट हमारी रिकमेंडेशन होगी आप प्लीज हमारा आईपी का इंटरेस्ट ज्यादा ध्यान आई एम नॉट आस्किंग यू टू फॉलो वट एवर आई से बट आई एम ओनली से कंसिडर फ्रॉम दिस एंगल गेटिंग एक्सपोज टू लॉट ऑफ डिसिप्लिनरी प्रोसीडिंग्स and a sale made by ip may put him to bonified sale made by him unnecessarily put an ip in such a situation where they he will not be able to satisfy suppose if it is come through coc he can always take a stand coc has approved then only i have sold sir no no yahan pe question is different yahan pe yahan pe question is different क्वेश्चन ये है जहां पर एक बायर का एक होम बायर का घर रेडी है ही हैज मेड पेमेंट ऑफ हिस्स एंटायर ड्यूज नाउ क्वेश्चन इज वेदर द सेल डीड कैन बी एग्जीक्यूटेड सो फॉर दैट पर्पस इट इज नॉट दैट आई एम डिसाइडिंग एज टू एट व्हाट अमाउंट एट व्हाट अमाउंट आई विल बी सेलिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर अमाउंट एंड ऑल आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यू एज ए प्रमोटर कंफरिंग द टाइटल टू हिम विद इररिलेवेंट ऑफ अदर फैक्टर्स ऑफ कंसीडरेशन सर उसमें ऑलरेडी एग्रीमेंट टू सेल एग्जीक्यूटेड है पोजीशन हैंडेड ओवर है सो सी इफ यू आस्क मी देयर शुड बी ऑलवेज नथिंग रॉन्ग इन हैविंग अ चेक एंड बैलेंस सिस्टम सपोज आईपी वांट्स टू रजिस्टर द सेल डीड इफ एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर हाउ आई एम थिंकिंग हाउ सीओसी कैन ऑब्जेक्ट टू इट सीओसी विल ऑब्जेक्ट टू इट इज योर योर प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपीरियंस आई डोंट माइंड इवन इफ यू डोंट want anybody that you should be given a blanket power i have no objection but i am thinking from the angle of ip ip should not get unwanted problem because he has done a genuine sale transaction probably keeping that in mind i um, ibba has proposed to include coc in between but it is left to you if you want to have a blanket power जी, 
if stock in trade in a manufacturing company and rp is duty irp or rp duty bound to keep the company as a going concern similarly flats in a real estate project are stock in trade he should be authorized rather here you are curtailing his authorities you are cutting the wings of the rp by providing this provision and secondly this provision is going to be a non starter at all yes because you say after obtaining the approval of the committee which will never be there with not less than 66% of the total votes yes yes, yes. further non starter the other base is better not to have this proposed amendment yes yes see okay. we uh, here i have a small uh, point yes, see sir. generally we know that they are not cocs they are all cois mostly uh, sir let's conclude it uh, we have to respect time also uh, we, 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 uh, we we accept your uh, your saying we accept your uh, 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 saying lekin sir vakeel sahab bhi hamare saath hai hum ip ki koi power dilute hone ke liye is association ke meeting mein recommend nahi karenge that's uh, uh, from the core of our heart we are saying like that sir please move to next topic please i take it i i sir sir aapka vision jo hai hamare se bahut zyada broad hai hamara vision thoda sa narrow hai us narrow vision ke andar hum apni narrow thinking karte hain aur madan ji ne hamara saath de diya hai to we shall go for that thank you madan ji nale ji please move forward right no no we have, i i have no say in this i am only academically discussing it is for you yes, to take yes. ultimate call Nay, nay, sir. Your blessings has to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, taken, uh, implemented or suggested the way uh, you are suggesting it in letter and spirit. We, when we have made you our chief guest, so in letter and spirit, we will talk about it. Mamta ji, please move forward. Please take the chair and make we all males to, uh, uh, yani, close our mouth and because the time is approaching five now. <laughs> yes, yes. So I, I, the last clause of this. Yes, yes. Huh? Yes. Huh? एक बात एड करना चाहूंगा की मैं अपने जो पार्टिसिपेंट्स है उनको देख रहा हूँ तो मैं ये देख रहा हूँ कि हमारे इस पर्टिकुलर वेबिनार के अंदर पार्टिसिपेंट्स थोड़े से कम हैं और जितने भी पार्टिसिपेंट्स हैं वो सारे के सारे नॉर्थ इंडिया से हैं जनरली वी हैव लॉट ऑफ पार्टिसिपेंट फ्रॉम सदर्न इंडिया आल्सो बट आई फील रियल स्टेट केसेस आर प्रोन टू एन सी एल टी दिल्ली एंड चंडीगढ़ बेंचेज ओनली पर नॉट टू चेन्नई एंड अदर्स इसके बारे में मेरे फ्रेंड्स जो कमेंट करें सर उसके बाद रिस्पेक्टफुली प्लीज गिव यूर ब्लैसेज बाई कंक्लूडिंग see in fact today we had a very healthy discussion and all the speakers have spoken very excellently and the issues raised really concerns the industry as a whole real estate industry as a whole and uh, yes forums like yours have to raise their voice and suggest the proposed amendments are in order of your interest or not and nothing wrong in you advocating your own interest i to agree with you but the other angle also you can consider wherever you feel that you can and uh, i really thank all the participants who so ever have participated for their very patient participating and we want them all the participants other than the speakers or the chief guest and other than our uh, uh, madan ji all to be very active please keep speaking unless you open your mind we don't know what exactly you think because every one of you is a professional and all of you are lamps of knowledge please light your lamp and enlighten us so that we will also pick up some few points from you are participating in the webinars and i sincerely thank the organizers for affording this opportunity to me to be the chief guest for the day and i really enjoyed talking and listening to your knowledge and practical experience 
as the person who is occupying the actually according to me insolvency professional is the backbone of entire ibc mechanism and when we listen to them and their practical aspects i really i'm very very happy and to my experience all the ip professionals are good outstanding and they are all well matured and they have very pragmatic approach let you all earn very good name and fame in your in the society thank you very much thank you very much sir thank you very much i extend my warm gratitude to all the participants and of course to our esteemed chief guest and uh, as a special guest i think gp madan sir has made a special appearance so thank you very much he's himself a very learned person and what the best part about him is he's very helpful and he he is very approachable thank you for being there with us sir nilesh ji you've uh, taken us through the entire paper very lucidly i must mention not a single aspect is what you have left untouched so we got a fair understanding as to what it is because sometimes it becomes very difficult to go through it's very tedious to go through each and every line and trying to understand about it it makes a lot of sense when an expert just takes us through and you are the one who's handling you and i think manoj ji both of you are handling real estate cases to the brim so that practical experience also has poured out in your presentations we are also very grateful to all our participants who've just been there all through it's it's been a two hour session and everyone has been steadfast listening to all of you very carefully so my gratitude and we look forward for your similar participation at all times of ipa and let us all congratulate ipa once again for its 50th episode if i may say so and uh, we we look forward to not becoming a saas bahu serial that keeps on going without any uh, uh, sir or pair we would look forward to really be uh, uh, an organization which adds value to all of us thank you very much we look forward to have you again thank you mamta ji thank you may i thank give you very much thanks a lot thank end? you sorry yes sir if you allow may i give one suggestion yes sir please, please because please. i was not present in the beginning that is where the provision with respect to competent authorities there like in north we have to invite noida authority or greater noida similar instances are there in case of private developers also where there is one company is land owning company and another is a developer the developer has gone into insolvency land owning company says my payment has not been released so my asset cannot become part of the resolution plan so in such cases also the land company land owning company should also be invited to the coc similar provision should be inserted in the regulations in addition to the competent authority but uh, yeah Mr. Fact, yeah that's a good suggestion what madan said no i think unnecessary complications will only be created because they are normally not having any right except that they are having right to recover their dues if any are there though you are aware that recently honorable anclet has my matters only uh, which is uh, today homes and infra today homes uh, uh, today homes infrastructure private limited in that matter honorable anclet has said similar situation was there where uh, today homes was having uh, development rights and there were certain land owners they were saying that uh, land belongs to us and uh, you can't uh, proceed with this uh, this was this project and this resolution plan because our dues are there so honorable anclet said that uh, uh, this land cannot be excluded this these development rights are there which is an asset of the city huh? so based on the same now their right is limited only to the extent of filing a claim and that claim will be dealt with as per the provisions of uh, this fund but mere mano nirej chal anyway i have a different experience there are three such cases where the payment to the land owning company has not been made and before the company goes into cirb land owning company has uh, they yes, have sir. dismissed the, the contract this the contract does not survive at all so in such a scenario now the company but the, now the developer has gone into cirb and the matter is yes. pending for us four years three such matters are there i think the concept of group insolvency may so be in that uh, case, meant for that, that only kind of a situation mr madan i think uh, 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 they will have to are will have to uh, to settle with the land owners and i think their dues will have to be considered absolutely no, no. Uh, uh, what 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 what's your opinion for group insolvency in such cases 
No, that is a separate issue because group insolvency is not doesn't fit into this case yeah, because the land owning we... company has not gone into insolvency. Land owner is not insolvent. चलिए ठीक है anyway uh, good. thank you so much uh, okay with this uh, we with... this session ha huh? yeah yeah yes yeah, sir yeah with this okay. note we end our session thank you very much as already said by mamta ji nilesh ji uh, prasad sir you contributed a lot we be highly obliged for that uh, your, your your suggestions are not only suggestions for us but blessings for us we would like to you know uh, go with the uh, letter and spirit of your suggestions madam sir aap to hamare savier hai जहाँ पे हम फंस जाते हैं वो आप ही को पकड़ते हैं जब प्रसाद सर बात कर दे कि हमको रेस्क्यू करने के लिए ये सीओसी में प्रिजन आना अच्छा है तो मेरे को लग रहा था हमारी सीओसी तो मदान सारी है तो ही विल रेस्क्यू अस इन एवरी सच सिचुएशन विद दिस नोट थैंक यू वेरी मच वी बी कीप ट्रेवलिंग आर गेस्ट इन आर कमिंग वेबिनार्स आल्सो आई जस्ट रिमाइंड यू दैट से इन अ फोर्थ नाइट और सेवन डेज ममता जी विल बी टेकिंग ऑन द मेडिएशन यानी कि डाट फुली बेसिकली वॉट मेडिएशन डिस्कशन पेपर इज देयर वॉट यू नो सर्कुल हैज बिन इश्योर्ड इन डैट एंड हाउ वी कैन यूज दैट इन आर प्रोफेशन आल्सो विद दिस नोट थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक्स फॉर जॉइनिंग थैंक्स अ लॉट थैंक यू थैंक यू